the MP systems and we're here to talk about the swing radius of mini excavators. Um, you are got to be aware of your surroundings and what's around you, um, not just equipment, but if it's trees, people. Um, when the operator is in the machine, you want to have verbal communication and you want to have uh, visual communication with them um, so that you're you're talking, you're, you're on the same page as what he is. So when he's swinging, you know, you're not standing in the way, nor do you walk around the machine as he's working because he can't see you. Always try to stay in front of the machine or let him know that you're walking around the machine. And Steve and an excavator operator were working together. Steve was standing on the side of a gully several meters above the excavator in the tree. I was working with the excavator operator to move the last tree for the day. I first do the undercut and then I do the back cut. Then I guide the machine into position and then I clear. Uh, I thought I was in the safe zone and then the boom swung back towards me and then the bucket dropped right into my pelvis. As the bucket hit me, I felt the teeth penetrate my pelvis and in my abdomen as it pulled me down branches and rocks and sticks were going into my back and... It is pure chance that the angle and force of the blow didn't kill Steve on the spot. So when, when entering the, the mini excavator you want to have three points of contact and make sure that your controls are always up. This, this doesn't allow the mini to be um, operated um, at all. When, when your controls are up, when your controls are down, now it's free to do anything it wants. So when you come up, you can potentially hit this and that could cause somebody or something to get, get struck. So always have your controls up, use three points of contact. You can uh, get in inside the mini and then when you're inside, now you can use it. And then same thing when you're done, make sure that these controls are all the way up when you're exiting.